Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, trying out all these products for you so you know what to buy and what not to buy. These are honest reviews. No one's paying me to say the following. I'm gonna run through five of my current favorite lip pencils, eye pencil, concealer, pen just pencils in general. FYI, these aren't necessarily on Brit's picks just yet. That's getting an update very soon. Out of all of the products that I've tried, those are my current top 20 favorites. An expanded version will be coming soon as well, but I'm sure some of these are gonna make it. If not onto the top 20, then into the expanded version for sure. Let me know what you think as I'm going through or share your favorite pencils. I would love to have that in the comments because sharing is caring at this point. We all know that. Here we go. The first that I have is from Tower 28. This is their one liner and I have this in work of art. I use this on my lips pretty much every day. It is a really strong neutral. It's a little bit darker than I would like. They have a couple of other color options and shades that you can try, but I use it all the time. And when I was just recently traveling, I actually used it on my eyes, on my cheeks. It was a full blown multitasker. Pretty much most pencils and a lot of other products, let's be honest, a lot of them can be multitaskers. So you can get a ton of use out of this. It also works really well with brights. If you have a bright lipstick and you wanna get that lip line exact and you don't wanna deal with a brush, this I have found to work really well for me. And that's the first pencil. I'm surprised that I have two from Jones Road in here because I don't always use their products. But the one that I've been using more recently, and you can see it's kind of whittling down, actually that's a really good sign. There's still quite a bit of pencil left in this pencil. Whatever, you get the picture. This is the brown, the best pencil. I use this quite often just to kind of give me a quick wing. It's creamy, it doesn't tug at the eye line, it applies really nicely, and it smudges out. The only thing that I'll say here is if I really want this to stay, then I will press in a powder on top of it, like the Ma Beauty Cake Liner would be a great option if you really wanna secure it, or you can actually put a little bit of powder on underneath. If I do that to set the concealer, then I might just kind of bring it up to the wing area, and then I would have this applied on top. It grabs on a little bit better, I find, on sweaty or like humid days. It doesn't just drip down the face, but it does need a little bit of reinforcement. The next, this you could use any shade in these. I've been featuring these to death for months now. These are the Air Perez Cocoa Crayons. This shade I kind of just never reached for. This is Heart. Heart is more of a maraschino kind of cherry red that I love a red lip, but I have just haven't been going after it every day. But I love this color because what you can do is just kind of, I just have a little bit of shading on my lip right now from Soch Lipstick. I will put the links below for that. But you just need a little bit, you press it in, and you're done. You just have a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a pop. Very easy to work with, very easy to put on the cheek as well. A little bit goes a long way, it's very creamy, and these last for a very long time. They're not inexpensive, but they're not going quickly. The stick does not go quickly, I'll say that. I don't use this shade every day, but I use a lot of others and they don't go fast. It's not gonna give you as precise of a line as something like the Tower 28, which is why I put these two together because I know that was another question. So I mentioned the Air Perez Coco Crayon and the person who had asked about it was like, I actually need something a little bit more precise. This is a really good option for that. These two, I liked in the beginning, the final two. Actually, that's a lie. One of them I didn't really like in the beginning. One I did. So let's go to the one that I liked because the last one was a surprise to even me, but we're gonna talk about the Flavado and Albedo Bright Stripe Eyeliner in Gold. It is not a gold, shiny, glittery type of look. I'm wearing it under the eye. It's hard to tell in the brighter lights. It gives you a little bit of shadow under the eye. It works really well on top. It works on the crease if you need it to. Creamy, but doesn't tug, not super creamy but it gives a line to the eye that is really soft. So it gives some definition without having that hard under eye line. A lot of people out there will use shadow. I don't like that. I feel like unless I prime and have the concealer on just right for every day, shadow kind of runs down my face. It just doesn't wear well on my eye. So I've been loving this stuff. It's just really, really subtle. You can just like really gently 
bring it under the eye and it's sort of the subtle thing that you know is there and people can see it but then they're kind of like what's going on there that looks kind of nice it's not that severe line all right i'm done talking about it. i really really love it the last pencil again i did not see this coming I really really didn't this is the jones road face pencil this is meant for spot touch-ups on the face i have done a full review for this I've been reaching for this because I've been trying out a lot of liquid concealers. Some of them have really helped brighten, some of them have not. You can check out the reviews on this channel. When I need more brightening and I don't want to fuss around, this has been phenomenal. This is the lighter shade of the two that I have. So this is shade two. You just kind of pop it into the corner. You really don't even need to press that hard. I don't really need a ton. And then I just press it in with my finger. It seems to be sitting much better. I have concealer on right now. You're not gonna see a huge contrast, but I've been reaching for this more and more and more and just in the inner corners, or if I need a touch up on the outside and sometimes I'll use it under the brow just to lift a little bit. It's a nice little thing you can have in your bag if you just need a little bit of something. If you have super dry skin, this might be an issue. I think those that have oilier skin or even just really well primed skin will be able to work with this nicely. It's creamy, but it's not super duper creamy. It's definitely not dry. And like you could see, it did kind of deposit quickly without having to press too hard on this pencil. Plus you can do spot touch-ups like right here. This was a fun new, fun new friend. It melts in really nicely now. I remember it not doing this before, so I'm not sure if maybe just the prep for my skin has changed but it reminds me of something that I got out of the RMS on cover up without all of the coconut oil and the heaviness. So if you're looking for that, this could be a nice little addition to your makeup routine. Those are the five that I've been using on repeat. Tell me what you're loving right now in terms of pencils, multitaskers. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you right back here real soon. Until then, there are plenty more favorites that you can check out. Here's the playlist to talk to you soon. Bye.